What the warrior archetype really hones in on is honor. Like honor is at stake here. My honor is at stake here. So if I'm out here doing things willy nilly and not taking the time, not taking the time that I need to really think through the things that I need to do, I'm going to be out here risking my honor. I'm going to be out here risking my dignity, my pride, the things that I hold dear um, and that the warrior archetype holds dear um, in that space. So the great panda likes to eat a lot. In fact, it spends most of its life eating. You don't get that cuddly by restricting your calories. The panda spends up to 14 hours a day eating. Look, Twitchy Tuesday, we do astrology tarot and we learn things. So the first question was, where do we need to cut through unnecessary distractions right now? And the six of swords, it's like, I keep hearing, especially with this flying squirrel, which we'll, we'll get into the book too, to, to clarify even more, but the flying squirrel, it's like, where are, what distractions are like, are just unnecessary. Like, again, it's where are you at in other people's business or what do you have no business? What do you have no business being distracted about? That's the question. What distractions need to be laid to rest? Mind what? your own fucking business. That is really like Mars square Neptune is mind your business. Like check the dis disillusions, check yourself. If you are in business that you ain't got no business being in, politely walk away. It's okay if you went there, but notice that you went there and then revert back. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't, that's an extra cook in the kitchen. I don't need to be up Failure in there. is part of the journey. Failure is a good thing. My, my phrase, fail spectacularly. Fail so fucking well that glitter pops out from the sky and like Gabriel's horns start playing, right? Like fail so good that you grow from it. That is part of the mission. That is part of the warrior's mission is to fail. So when you think about how am I going to gain this information that I need, how am I going to continue to work with this warrior archetype as Mars continues to go through this journey over the next, um, the rest of this year and through the month of March, well, you're going to learn it through action, through mistakes, through inter through like the reflection because Mars is in Gemini, it is thought, it is mental, through the reflection of what you've gone through, of what you've been doing.